Hello, this is Officially Reviewed, and tonight, uh, released literally a couple minutes ago, uh, the new Green Poison 4.2.1 iOS jailbreak has just been released for PCs. Uh, last night, it was released for Mac, and everyone else who didn't own a Mac was stuck. So, now we're glad to have something for the PC. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I've just plugged in my iPod. This is iPod Touch, fourth, fourth generation with the camera, running 4.2.1. So this is the untethered jailbreak, as opposed to earlier uh, jailbreaks like Red Snow, which have been limited to tethering. So with tethering, you could only get it out so far, and if you had to reboot your iPod, you would need to connect it back in your computer and re-jailbreak it. So that's iTunes kicking in. So what we're going to do first is what you should do is take your iPod or iPhone and shut it down. All right, and there we go. Now start by running Green Poison. There it is, Screen Poison RC5. So, it's off. And here we are, we're going to prepare to jailbreak. So, three. Yeah. So, I'm going to press and hold the sleep button. Then you're going to hold down the home button. And then you're going to release the sleep button. And that should kick your iOS device into DFU mode. There we go. So now it says jailbreak. Go ahead and click on that. And now if we look at the iPod. There we go. It's jailbreaking. So you should see the white screen. should hear your uh, computer ping a couple times. And there it goes. Look at that. So now it's putting all the things onto your iPod that it needs to jailbreak it. And it should come to the point where Green Poison has done all that it needs to, and you can hit quit. And at that point, your iPod will reboot with the custom boot logo, which actually looks quite nice. It's the Green Poison logo. And it should come up. There it is. See the new boot logo is animated. And now it reboots. There's the boot logo again. And it should come up. There's that noise, the charging sound. And there it is. So let's see how well this worked. So we should see. Up, oh, yep, there's Loader. There's Cydia, and we're going to install it. It's very nicely done. Now, 
if I remember correctly, this thing should respring the device. Yep, there it goes. Or reboot, rather. Very nice. Charging noise. And let's see if that worked. So if we look, and there's Cydia. Now, just to prove it to you, I'm going to pull up my. Uh, there it is, General. There about. And there it is, 4.2.1 on a fourth generation iPod Touch. So this has been officially reviewed. Thanks for watching.